everyone, this is Hirsch Quasar coming at you, we're playing a little Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I've been asked, you know, how how do you create config files? How do you use the car editor? So I'm going to do a little bit of that today, and uh, I'll try to do short and sweet, and um, hopefully you get the hang of it. Most of this is going to be, you know, just getting used to the files, getting used to playing around inside the car editor. Um, so with that being said, let's go into the car showroom and decide which one we actually want to build. So, I mean, I'm sure you have an idea of what you want to change. And for myself, the bolt roulette here, this, this car is a 1971 Camaro wannabe. And it really, I don't know, it's just really ugly to me. It doesn't have the front bumpers on it, so it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't stand out as it, just the front end just looks awful to me, and I, I don't like the car. So today I'm going to try and make this into something that I want to have in my collection. So right now, if you clicked on it, there's two versions of this, the Bolt Roulette and the Roulette f mill Now, I can tell you that the f mill is the straight six-cylinder engine in it. So it's set up like that. Uh, the Bolt Roulette is just a overhead valve engine, which we'll go ahead and look at real quick. We'll open up all the doors, and there you have it, right? It's a dual-carb engine. Uh, not a whole lot in there. Uh, nice red color. You know, all good, right? So that's the car that we are going to look at trying to change around. So right now, um, we're going to exit the game and we're going to go into the game files themselves. So right off the bat, we're going to go into the car files. And I just so happen to have it pulled up here. Now, if you don't know where the car files are, um, it's right here. I don't know where you have your steam gaming setup you know whatever drive you have it on uh program files is mine steam steam apps common and um steam uh let's see. we'll just go through this how about that um so we'll go to c drive i'm under program files 86 we we'll go to steam and we'll find steam apps we'll go to common we're going to go Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and then we'll go to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 data. Underneath here, you'll have streaming assets. And under here, you'll have cars. Now, we'll go to upload here a little bit later, but up here is the cars. Now, this is a list of all the cars that are listed already in the game. You find the Bolt Roulette, right, which is this one right here. You open it up, you see you have two different configs. You have a, a config and a config one. The normal config is actually the first one with the engine. So if you kind of look through here and you look at this, you scroll down here a little bit farther, and you'll see that the engine in it is a is a V8 Starry 2 carb. All right, so that's cool. The config one is the F mill. It's named as an F mill, and if you look down at the engine type down here, it's the engine I6 old, which has no swap options whatsoever so the first one had some swap options right so it had all of these different swap options in it so you can there's like a ton of them but we're going to have to change that around too because we are going to go with something a little bit different uh we want like i said a pro stock version of this so what we're going to do is i'm going to rename this uh i'm going to name this an hq as in hearst quasar uh custom pro stock okay and then i'm going to save it save as i'm going to save it as a config 2 because i already have config 1 so i need config 2 and these are sequential order so you can keep these on your hard drive all you want to um when you upload them to steam if you feel like you know you've got something really great and you want to upload it to steam then that plays in it'll be a little bit something different so um we'll do that well we'll look at that a little bit later so we're going to save this as config 2 then we're going to go to the body config because we opened up the config file. We're going to save this as body config 2. So it has to have a matching set. So there we go. All right. Now that we have that all in place, we'll close up all of our files. We'll go to play. And what we're going to do is launch the car editor right here. So here we go. Shouldn't take too long to load up. As you can tell, it didn't take long at all, actually. 
but I don't have that many mods in here either. So here we go. This is the cart editor. Now we're going to go down here in the bottom. We're going to look for the bolt roulette, which is right there. All right, we have the standard version, which is right here. And to get around in here, you have to use the WASD keys and your right mouse button. So if I were to press the A button and in my right mouse button, I go sideways, sideways, uh, D, W is in, S is out, and then you point, you know, you know, however you want to play around with it, you, you kind of go around like that. So you really have to get used to how to control this because it can be a pain in the butt. All right, so we have the bolt roulette. Now we have the versions. That's the FML version. Remember, we had that in there. And this is the one we just created, the HQ Custom Pro Stock, right? That's the one we want. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, stance and wheels are always a big deal. So with this being a Pro Stock, we are going to go, and we have all these buttons at the top to tell you what to do here. Okay, wheels are pretty self-explanatory. This is gonna change the rims and the tires. So with this, uh, we want to, uh, let's see what rim did I really want to have on here? Uh, 25 or 25A, I think it was. I think it was 25A, which is the Chrome version of this actually. So we'll go down here, change this to 25A. There we go, now we've changed the tires. Uh, we're gonna change the internal size to a 15 this is where you could change it to a 20 inch 18 inch wheel whatever you wanted to do with this being pro stock i'm keeping it at a 15 inch wheel uh front wheel width we're going to go with a 165 and the width is basically how wide the tire it is itself right so just this area here is how wide it is so this is going to be a skinny tire uh set up on a 75 profile while the back one I want some meat back there. I want a 335, right? I want a 335. I want a 50, at least a 50 profile. Um, maybe even a 55. Oops. Yeah, you get a little carried away with that. You can tell. Um, let's see here. We'll take a look at it. I think that's pretty wide, but uh, yeah, it might be okay. I think we're still going to stick with a 50, though. I think we're going to go with a 50. We'll go over the 50 profile for this. All right, tires. So the rear tires, we want the race slicks, right? So race slick B has the white litter tires. And up front, I'm gonna go with uh, just a sport tire up front. You know, no lettering, um, just a basic wheel up front for like a pro stock look, right? Now you're saying, Hearst, man, those wheels are looking big and this just doesn't look right, right? Okay, so we've got the wheel set up. You've got the size you want. Okay, this is good. Now, like I said, this is how I do these, I, and you can do them in any order that you want to do them. My next step is always the suspension. So we're going to go up here and select suspension. Now, if you can tell, this is like your center section. If I were to come down here to this, uh, so show body, uncheck that, and it unchecks, it, it takes the body away so you can see what's going on. So center section old two is this section down here that changes it you have a double wishbone three which is this section right here that gets changed uh, rear center leaf powered is the rear suspension right it's your rear suspension back here then you have drum powered drum powered right and this is right and left all right so there's your drum and there's your drum so that's pretty much the basics of your suspension of what you can change um, for the back, we're going to go with uh, disc, or the disc powered, and you can tell um, it changed over here. So you got the disc, so we're going to go over here, I'll show you this. Uh, this is drum powered, we're going to go with disc, and it changes to the disc powered, right? Uh, rear center leaf powered, uh, we want it, um, hang on, let's back up a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Um, there you go. Um, so the center, you have like a regular rear center, which is like this right here. Um, you have your leaf powered, and then you have your leaf powered two, which basically puts the uh, shock absorbers a little bit forward. Rear centered, powered, again, we have that one. 
uh, powered GTR. So this is a GTR. This is from the uh, the DLC. Then you have the solid powered, which is the one I like using most of the time. You know, you have your springs, you have your uh, your A arms here, or your arms here, and your shock absorbers. So that's what I like using. So that's the rear end. We've changed the rear end around on it. That's good. Uh, I'm not going to change the front end on this because I think it's good the way it is. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And you can play around with this all you want to. All right, so we've done that. We're going to show the body once again. And then we're going to get down low here. So we can take a look at the stance of this thing. Then we're going to go down here and look at some of this stuff here. Front axle start. This is where the front axle is going to start. And with this car, it's pretty centered. All right, so we don't want to mess with that. Wheelbase is the wheelbase from center of tire to center of tire back here, right? So honestly, if you look at this, this may look like it's a little forward, right? It looks like it's more on this side. So our wheelbase, we're going to increase this just a hair. See if I do that, we're going to go with a 5.5. Five. So we're going to center up that tire a little bit. So wheelbase, we adjust the wheelbase to go back a little bit farther. Front track is exactly what it means is the track on the front end so it's how wide the tires are from center to center so if you feel like the the track needs to be widened or narrowed you can do that we are going to narrow the rear end but before i do that i want to go with the height uh, this right here is where your height is the higher the number the lower you go so i'm going to go with the two point uh, 0 0.2 on the front and I'm going to go with this pair of two five uh, go with the two we'll go with the two on the back I can probably go with the two five on the front make that as low as possible we'll go with the two three play around with it all you want to um, as you can tell when I lowered it my tires cut into the into the body so what do I do that rear track so if you kind of maneuver yourself down up underneath here see that we have some space right here so we can narrow up this track in the back so we are going to narrow this up so we narrow it up to a four five four four that's about as narrow as i can get it how does it look like on the outside we are pretty fat on the outside so we're going to go let's see i went at four four maybe we go the four three how about that yeah, we could probably go with a 4.2 and see what we look like in the inside the fender well. Eh, not too shabby, I guess. Not too shabby. Looks like we're not cutting into it too bad. Yeah. All right. So now we've adjusted the track. And if you look at it from the rear, it just like it's nothing but a set of massive meats back there. All right. One of the things to check when you do lower the car, though, is to explode the car here and take a look uh, you don't want the tires to cut into the fender wells here or in the in some cases they may cut into the interior like in here so it looks like i'm in pretty good shape it looks like they're cutting in just a little bit right there and right there so uh with that being said i may want to go a little bit uh, a little bit higher so I'm gonna go with a one we'll go with the one nine also one nine yeah let's just stick it with a one nine and then we can take a look inside here uh, and it looks does it look like I'm cutting into anything and actually you can just kind of like post it in here and go over here to the rear height and go okay one nine one nine five oop right there i'm starting to cut into it so we'll go uh four it looks like i'm in pretty good shape so that's about as far as i can go in the rear not to make it look too messy now on the front is a different story altogether because what happens is the front end as you can tell clips into the car itself and there's really nothing you can do about that um, you could change around the front ends all you want to to try and get that to work but this i've seen i found that this really doesn't work that well uh, to try and do any of that so we're going to keep it as such uh, now for a pro stock version what is not needed okay i don't need we're going to go into the 
uh, interior version of this. And we're going to take a look at this. Uh, we don't need uh, we don't need the bench, right? So we don't need the bench in the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that select dummy. So that basically you can see the shock absorbers back there, but that's okay. We're going to take that completely out. We also do not need the driver's seat, but we want the driver's seat to be something different. So we're going to select uh, leather seat four, or is it leather seat five? I wanted which one is it? Seven. I guess seven would be it. I guess seven would look okay. So we're going to go seven here. Uh, that's the tan seat, and that's not the one I wanted. So let's go eight. Nope. Six, five, nope, four, nope, three, no. Okay, so I'm really goofing up here. Nope, it's not seat nine. So it's maybe seat one. No, didn't think so. Seat 10, no. <laughs> Try that. C11. C11 is what I want. It's kind of like a a uh, race version. So seat 11, leather four. Um, let's do something a little bit different. That's not tan. Nope. I want it to be uh, brown. No. Uh, leather one. Yes. We want it kind of two tonish. Now this other seat, the passenger seat, we don't want it. So we'll go up here and we'll select dummy, and it disappears. Uh, seat one here you can also the trick is is you can click on the item and you can adjust it so we want to bring this down a little bit but I wouldn't bring it down too much because what it'll end up doing is it'll start cutting into the underneath so with it selected you can kind of like bring it down you can start seeing how it's starting to come down into cutting into it so I'd cover down as much as possible once you have it click off it and then voila you have it uh, steering wheel same thing um, we can leave the steering wheel as it is or we can select a new steering wheel this is a roulette steering wheel and we can just get uh, steering wheel 7 is what looks good and of course you can again click on it and you can move it around and adjust it as necessary so now we've got the interior set up we've got the stance set up we will undo the explode car take a quick look at it a quick look around yep it looks good um, so anything else on the interior we don't want? We don't want the front license plate. So go to the exterior and we take this front license plate and again, select dummy. So there we go. That's what we have going right now. Okay, so what is the next piece of this? Right now, if you like the way it looks, hit save. All right, so if any time you don't like it or you mess up, just reload the car and then start all over. Once you get everything set up the way you want, you know, go ahead and hit save and then it works from there. Okay, so now that we've got that done, uh, we're gonna explode the car again. And because this is gonna be a pro stock car, we want it to have the biggest engine possible. We'll go to engine and the biggest engine possible in this, I think I wanna say, is the V8 supercharged, which is this big monster bad boy right here. Now, now that I've put it in there, right, now I'm going to take a look down in here and see what I'm clipping into. This is uh, at a scale at 1.3, so it is fairly large. Uh, it doesn't look like it actually is clipping into too much of anything. Uh, so, yeah, it might be, might be a little larger than I thought. So I can click on it. I can actually bring it forward just a hair. I think it would look better just brought forward a little bit. Uh, it does, it clip, does not really clip into the suspension too much. Um, going underneath, taking a look over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the body. And then see how this looks. Because this is... Yeah, see, like, we've got this running right through the middle of the uh, power steering. We've got the sh this shaft going right through the middle of that. So... Possibly, I mean, the oil pan isn't clipping anything, which is like a good thing, and it is sitting low. 
So maybe we need to raise it a little bit. So what we'll do is now that we have it selected, we can raise it. Oh, and I don't have it completely selected. What is it that I had selected? I don't know. Oh, and I think it was um, these pipes right here. So let's click off that. We'll click on engine or right here. Click on this uh, magnifying glass right here and you will have the engine itself. Sorry about that. I clicked off. So we'll click the magnifying glass and then we have the engine. We can adjust it up and down. So we're going to adjust the engine up a little bit. Uh, try to clear as much of this underneath here as possible, which it looks like it's pretty clear now. All right. I'm going to get down really low. And what I want to do is get this as low as possible. So it will clip in a little bit, but not too bad, right? So we brought it forward a little bit and up a little bit. Now, let's show the body. And now let's see if we can close the hood and see if it does not fit. <laughs> Isn't that a pain in the butt? Um, however, let's see if the tuning parts here, um, the hood, hood 2, yeah, that's not going to work either because I just have too much in it. Um, so that would have been another option. Um, so we'll explode the car. So right now, that's not going to work for this engine. So we can do a couple of things. We can either decrease the size of the engine or lower it back down and let it cut into the suspension. Uh, we could try to uh, uh, change the suspension around too. So what we'll do is we'll lower this down as far as we can go until you don't see it. And then we'll, we'll go, uh, we'll remove that and then go underneath here and see just how bad off we are underneath here. Yeah. So yeah, it's like it just cuts right through the engine. It's really hard to, really hard to do that. And it's cutting into the oil pan here too. Now we can try, even if we tried a different setup, this shaft would go through this back backside here or the front side. We really don't have an option except for, uh, I think even if we had null on the suspension, um, it would still, it still wouldn't work. So, so basically what I was saying is if I went with the suspension and went with the center old, this is the center old too. If I went with a, um, a dummy, which wasn't anything in there. Yeah, it would, it, this would all be kind of hanging out there. So that's not good. Uh, we have front center, um, which really isn't good either because then this is, uh, then it's going right through the engine block back here. Uh, center two. Um, which isn't going to work either. Um, so we have to go with the, then we have old one and then we have old two, which is what it was. Um, so we're going to stick with the old two, just making sure that, you know, everything's hooked up here. Um, so we are going to have some clipping through here. Just to let you know, unfortunately, I try not to do any clipping at all, but it's kind of hard to do with some of these engines. Uh, like I said, we could decrease the size of this engine. So we could try and do that. So we're going to go engine. Let's go show the body. See how big it is. Uh, we can do the scale here. So if I went to a just a one, see how small it got. If I went with a uh, 1.2, that might work, right? Uh, or we go with a 1.25, which decreases it a little bit. Um, maybe it would be helpful. And we'll go down here and we'll sneak a peek down here. Um, does it help any? Maybe just a hair. I mean, it does cut through a little bit. Um, so we'll kind of raise this up a little bit, try to ease the pain, and then uh, close the hood and see if it cuts through. Oh, it doesn't cut through. So let's raise this up as much as we can. Here we go. All right. So cool. Coolio. We'll show the body again. Take another dip down here. And yeah, we still have the steering cutting through here, but at least our our sway bar is not. It's going down and underneath and going underneath the front of the oil pan 
and the oil pans that I clip it through. So I'm pretty happy with that. Minimal clipping as much as possible is what we'd like to see. Okay, under the hood. I'm going to show the body again. We're going to explode the car. So what needs to go underneath the hood? Well, there's a few things that need to go underneath the hood. With this being, uh, with a new engine, we need to have the newer radiator. So radiator, all the, some of the stuff is underneath parts. So if you select parts, and you'll go through and you'll see all the different parts that are here. First part we're going to change is going to be the radiator. Uh, we are going to go with a uh, radiator with a fan. Um, let's see here, radiator. Uh, let's see here. I actually think it's under cooling, to be honest with you. Uh, cooling 2. So cooling 2 has the fans on it, a dual fan. Uh, cooling 1 has a single fan to it. Um, with this big engine, we're going with a cooling with two with a dual cooling effect. Uh, it is labeled as a 1.2, which is good. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to increase the size of this just a little bit more. Then we're going to select it and kind of move it back against the framework a little bit. All right, because we have this now, this is a pro stock vehicle, so guess what we don't need? We do not need a windshield wiper fluid, so we're going to get rid of the wiper fluid. Um, it's, uh, where is it? Wiper fluid. Washer reservoir. So right here, trash can. Boom, gone, baby. Now, what do we want to add? We need to add a cooling uh, reservoir. So we're going to, oh no, what did I just delete? I just deleted something else too. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Um, we're going to add a part, right? And it'll just come up saying dummy. So we are going to add a cooling reservoir. And you have different ones to choose from. If you select one, you're like, oh no, where is it at? Select a magnifying glass. You'll get the arrows and just bring it forward, bring it up, bring it back to you and blah. Right there you go. It's right there. So with this one, we have reservoir one. Reservoir 2, 3, and then we have Reservoir 4, which is the one I want. I'm going to select the magnifying glass. We're going to go ahead and adjust this in. Adjust this over. Adjust it down. And we're going to play around with this until we get it in where we want to have it, right? Get it into the car as much as possible. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. All right, so we've got the cooling reservoir right there. Uh, with this type of engine, you need an air filter. So we're gonna add another part and we're going to look for the air filters. We have different types of air filters. Um, again, select the magnifying glass and just kinda find the arrows and bring it around for you. This is just nothing more than the filter itself. It can be used if you have um, some of the options that the body parts already have, like a a uh, uh, some of the body parts are part of the config. So um, you just add the air filter to it. So we're going to add the air filter to this side, and we're actually going to move it over as far over as I can. Um, Okay, oh, I know what I deleted. I deleted the power steering reservoir. So we're, let's go get the power steering. Uh, power steering reservoir. Let's go ahead and bring that back forward, up, back this way. Yep, and we're going to move it down here and around. Okay, we'll just move it right down in there. That looks good to me. Looks good to me. All right, power steering done. Dad, we got rid of the windshield wiper fluid, uh, air intake. So we have a couple of things here. Uh, we have the battery. Battery is right here. We're actually going to move this bad boy to the trunk. So let's move it back here. 
And then when it's back here, you can, you know, adjust it how you want to, to where it's kind of So if you don't like how it's sitting here, right? Let's see. Let's find battery. Battery over here. Battery. Okay. So if you don't like the position, you can play with the X, Y, Z. So like Y is, you know, it rotates it this way. So if you like it more like that, you can adjust it and then, you know, kind of play around with how you like doing it. Uh, I am going to actually add another battery to this beast. And I'm going to put it in on the other side. Let's go ahead and bring this in here. Raise it up. Bring it in. There we go. Take it over to the other side. Like I said, using the WASD keys, it, you, you have to play around with it to really get used to it. And remember, I put 90 here. Well, this is going to have to be like 270, so it's just the opposite, right? So, again, play with the controls, play around with it. Um, if you don't like it, go ahead and back out of it. Don't save it, and then, uh, you know, come back to it later. It can get frustrating. All right, so I've got dual batteries back here for my pro stock. Next thing uh, I always like to do is the fuel tank. Now this has a typical fuel tank in it. Now we can do a, um, this fuel tank, if you wanted to, we can uh, use this one. We're gonna raise it up so you can see it inside the, uh, inside the trunk. Now like a fuel cell for a regular pro stock car uh, or I mean, with something like this, you can also change it around. So you can get fuel tank two, which is just a little bit longer than probably what you need. Uh, fuel tank two uh, B, and um, that's about it. So we're going to stick with the fuel, this fuel tank, and then we're going to adjust it back here a little bit. Um, as you can tell, the kind of sits a little cockeyed in there. So we're going to raise it up so we can see the whole thing. There we go. And there we go. We have a fuel tank. We have a twin set of batteries. Again, we'll save. All right, so I've adjusted the interior. I've adjusted the fuel tank and the batteries. The suspension I've adjusted. I've swapped the engine out, right? Now, one thing to note is because this particular car, um, if you want to have swap on options on it, you have to check to see what other engines are going to fit well on there. Um, Let's see. First of all, let's go back to our parts. So if I get rid of the body, as you can tell, the old the old overhead valve exhaust doesn't match up here, right? It just doesn't match up. So we're going to go down here. We're going to find the exhaust be all the down part starry one. Um, we don't need that. What we need is a V8 one. So those are the ones that really match up to it. And they need to really match up to the engine. So if the engine is a 1.25, uh, your, your downpipes should be about the same size. Otherwise, they'll look a little goofy. Uh, also, with your downpipes, you have different sizes. This one almost wants to drag the ground. So that's a downpipe one, two, and then three. I want to keep it as high as possible. I'm going to select them and then try to match them up as much as possible. Yes, it is a 3, 1.3. My engine is a 1.25. So, yeah, it's going to uh, take a little bit of finesse, so to speak. And it may require me to actually go down to 1.25, which actually I probably will, just so it matches up with the engine. Once you get that pretty well matched up, check out both sides. Yeah, we look pretty good. I mean, come on. So now you see where your exhaust is at. Okay, a little bit of clipping through the uh, the framework, but not too totally bad. 
Uh, so now we have this exhaust system. Uh, if you look at the body, see how far it sticks out. It doesn't it sticks out pretty far? Um, this is old exhaust B, I believe. My old exhaust C is longer. Yep, it's a little bit longer. So we're going to go with that. Remove the body, and then we'll see. We'll select the magnifying glass, and again, you have your arrows, which are pretty easy to mess with. Then just kind of eyeball, making sure, see how it looked like it was together, but really wasn't. So some of this takes some time to really get. Okay, that looks pretty decent, I think. Just, oh, no, it doesn't. See what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't it just doesn't match up. So we will match that up as much as possible. We'll get in real close. Yep, I think we're good. And our exhaust pipe is 1.15. Now remember our our in, our exhaust is 1.3 or 1.25. So it's a little bit different. And we'll come back here to the body and see where it sticks out at. Not too bad, not too bad at all. It actually sticks into the body a little bit. You can see the body right here. So we're going to have to drop that down just a touch. Uh, I believe we're going to rotate this out a little bit. We'll see what it looks like with the suspension too. So I want to rotate this out. So we're going to rotate it out to about two, uh, six, six, five. We'll go five. I think that might do it. See how I've adjusted it down. Then we'll take a look at the body, make sure I'm not cutting into the suspension. Nope, we are good there. All right, next one we're going to do. Uh, what you can do is kind of like match up. So let's see, where's the other one at? Let me go old C. There we go. Now I'll just do the same side. I'll just do the same stuff on this one. Put it all together. Take a little close look in there. Ooh, that's close, but. All right, so that's that. All right, so now we need to move it out a little bit. We moved this one out. This was like two, right? So this has the opposite effect. So we have to go negative two to move it out the other way. If you saw that, it moved it out the opposite way. And now um, our rotation, X rotation, is 1.5 down here. We're going to make this 1.5 so it's even here. All right. So we've adjusted the exhaust. We've uh, Now we need to adjust the drive shaft. So now that we've lowered it, we've put a new engine in it, messed up the drive shaft right so drive shaft up here select it select your magnifying glass uh, raise the back this is the best way to do it is raise the back and match up the back first so we'll match up the back right as much as possible see how the the scale is one but the engine was 1.25 so it's a little off um, length uh, See our rotation here, I think it's just zero. No, it just, that doesn't matter. Uh, this one right here. So Z moves it up and down. So we have to figure out where a good spot for it is. So I'll start off at one. I'll extend the length to an eight. Oop, that's too big. Seven, nope, that's too big. So we go six, five, right? Six, seven, eight, eight, five. 868788. Eight. Alright, so one just about did it. Uh, 1.5 is too much, so we have to go 0 0.9. Okay, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Looks like it's a pretty good match, in my opinion. So now we have 
we have matched up. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to it? Oh, I put the, yeah, if you hit a key, the D will mess it all up. So make sure. All right, we have matched up. Oh, our exhaust system's kind of messed up. So again, like I said, uh, you'll have to do this and keep playing with it until you have uh, you have it all right. Have it good. I'm going to move that back a little bit. Move it back over this way a little bit. Yep. Um, this one. All right. We are going to uh, move it down a little bit, looks like. And move it back. Back over this way. Up. That one looks like it's a little farther off than I sh it should be, so get it adjust in. But you get the gist, right? So you'll keep playing with it, and you can fine tune it with the numbers over here, and you just have to keep playing with it to figure that all out. Uh, so what else can we do? Fuse box. Uh, fuse box, I really, I despise this fuse, fuse box, so we're going to change this fuse box around. Uh, where is it? It's over here. Fuse box two. We want to go to fuse box one. And then we're going to play around with the settings on it. Okay, so 90. Yeah, that turns it completely around. What about this one? 90. Yeah. And 90. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Nope. Uh, okay, so let's go 45, 90, 90, and we'll take a look at this, because what's on the outside, if you're going to use this fuse box, it's written on the outside, fuse re relay, so make sure you got that right. Uh, we're going to go 90, let's go 180 here, 90, 90, oh man, uh, okay, 90, I want it that way, nope. Okay, we'll get this figured out. Again, it's just a matter of playing with this 270. I want the fuse relay to stand out. Ah. Uh. Okay. All right, anyway, I'm going to change the size of that anyway down to one. And we'll play around with this. Let's see, just change that to zero. Change it all to zero, Let's see what I got. Fuse relay. Um, Okay, so that'd be 270. 270, okay, there we go. 90, nope. That would be 270. Right? Yeah, fuse. Yeah, basically a fuse relay. So we've got that. We've got it set in there. Holy crap, that took forever. All right, let's go ahead and set this. 
against the car. And what we're going to do with this is a couple of things. Um, we're going to add some more parts. We're going to add uh, ABS. So we'll add ABS. Go ahead and drop that down in there. And depending on how this fits in there, you may want to kind of slide it in there as far back as possible. Try to fit it in there. Now to make sure it doesn't come through the dash underneath here, and that would be would not be fun. Oops. There we go. All right. So we've got the ABS in there, and we're going to add uh, an ECU. Oh, that's the dummy. There we go. We're going to add an ECU. So with this one, we're going to go 270. 270. All right, we got it where we kind of want it. Uh, we'll kind of play around with this. Uh, we'll make it 0.5. We'll make it a small one. How's that? We'll plug it into the fuse box and we'll make it a little bit bigger. How about that? We'll make it a little bit bigger. It's just kind of in the way of that, so we're going to move the fuse box over a little bit. There we go. Kind of looks like it belongs, right? So I think we've got everything underneath the hood, air intake, cooling, oil, brake, uh, power steering. Yeah, I think we have everything underneath the hood. Okay, we'll explode the car back down. Oh, all right. So our air filter doesn't fit well. Let's go ahead and move that down. Just to where it is just barely out of sight. Now, go back inside here and make sure I didn't clip into anything serious. Which doesn't look like it. And there you go. Go ahead and explode the car back into shape. And there you have it. One bolt roulette pro stock. Uh, the main is where you can you can change the name of it here as well um, uh, some of this I don't mess with like the brand the scale rotation I don't mess with it and under suspension there's a few things I don't really mess with uh, when it comes to the spring length spring stiffness I haven't really messed with any of these but I really don't know you can play with them if you want to uh, engine like I was saying if we uh, explode the car and we wanted to we're going to stick with the v8 supercharged but if we went to the v8 mod of course that one also we'll get rid of the body here that one also has you know um, the same type of exhaust system so that fits up pretty well um, ls3 um, same thing has the same type of exhaust system so it can work uh, it's when you go into like um, the 409 409 doesn't fit so what I'm going to do is change the config file to have just certain uh, mod just certain engines in it so like the modern will work the LS3 will work um, the V8 ZZ it will not work so we're not going to use any of those in our swap so that's we're just going to stick with the the supercharged one for right now all right so that about does it we have the body we have everything set up and we save i don't think there's anything else um engine parts um uh, just the parts you can put down to the car uh bonus parts bonus parts are um all your other things like your taxi sign police siren police lights led lights uh your metal trunk roof uh, the pizza sign 
Um, so yeah, that's none of that stuff like this right here. Yeah, no. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, select that and then, you know, but who wants that, right? I don't want it on a pro stock. So that's bonus parts. Interior, we've already kind of gone through. Uh, other, um, this gives you some of the things on here, like the year of it, rear wheel drive. If you're doing something like if it's a front wheel drive car and you're doing a, a major config and you're going to rear wheel drive, that's where you would change it or four by four, meaning all wheel drive. So that's where you would change that at. Uh, you can change the weight here. Since how we took some of the uh, interior pieces out, I'm going to knock this down 43 pounds. I'm just going to go 1400. Um, brake mod, um, some of this other stuff I would not actually mess with. Uh, because I don't want you breaking your game. And just be aware, you start messing with this, you may break the game. So I would not do that. Down here, it tells you where you want to find them at. Um, for this particular mod, or for this particular um, config file, we'll have it at the auction, barnyard, uh, or the junkyard, or as order. Um, we're not going to have any order 16. It can come up on order 16. Um, so that's, you know, mess with those at your own um, leisure. I would always back up your files before you attempt doing anything, anything. So, um, so that's for other. Uh, wheels we've already been through, drive shaft we've been through. The logic, uh, I have no idea what this is for, so I don't mess with it. Tuning, these are the tuning parts, what the tuning parts would look like on this car. Um, and we may do this a little bit different. Uh, let's see, front fender. See, if we wanted the front fenders different, let's see, front fender right. Oh, wait a minute. See, it has like this piece here. Okay, so the headlights. Let's see what the headlights are to look like. Headlight two. Uh, those look a little big and kind of dumb, I guess. Uh, the hood. Of course, there's only a couple of different variations of the hood. Mirrors can be chrome or painted. So it looks like that's what it is. Uh, tail lights. So our tail lights back here can either be clear or red. Um, we will leave them red on this particular model. Now we did change the fenders, so I'm going to show you how to keep it like that uh, in the config here in a minute. So if we have this, we will save it. Feel good? You like it? You think so? All right. And from here, I mean, you can, and I would. Um, see, this is uh, tuning, so I get rid of this. Exterior is nothing but the license plate, so we'll get rid of that. So at this point, what I would do is uh, take a picture of it. So, you know, down here, you can change the sky to whatever you like. I always like going with this right here. Uh, show lifter, it shows the lifter, where it's going to sit on the lifter. Uh, show environment, it just shows the environment. All right, it just does that. Uh, to sit inside, this allows you to sit inside the car to make sure that you're not cutting through. Um, as I'm looking around the car itself, looks pretty good. Uh, hit escape, or let's see. Okay, then we get out of it. Um, so I'm going to take a quick picture of it. All right, uh, you can change the color of it right here. So you can change the color of it, you know, whatever, whatever color you want it to be. And different solids, metallic, pearl, matte, chrome, chameleon, the matte chameleon, and gloss. The gloss looks pretty cool. Um, so there you go, we have that set up. I actually don't like, not liking that. We're going to go with a darker blue, I think. Eh, what does it matter? Um, it really doesn't matter, I guess. 
Um, so we're going to go with like a yellowish orange. There we go. Darken it up a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty good, right? So that is going to be our Pro Stalker. Um, hit change color again. I'm going to take a snapshot. F12. And we'll have it for later, right? All right, to back out of this, uh, Alt-Tab. And then hit Stop on 2021 and then wait for it to stop um, as it's waiting to stop we're going to go back into our file we're going to go back into our bolt roulette file on our config2 file this is our custom pro stock that we just got done uh, playing with if we come down here you're going to see that the engine in is it is the v8 supercharged so our swap options are right above it and we're going to limit that we're going to limit it to the um the v8 only we are going to limit it to um we'll give them well we'll give people options but i mean who would want to with this so engine uh v8 uh it was mod for modern then you have engine underscore v8 underscore ls3 so those are the four engines that can go into it so we save that's our swap option so we save that um, what else we want to look at is um, the body config for the body config too right now these this right here if we wanted to have the car come in with a certain tuning um, uh, certain tuning part we're going to type in tuning here with the brackets then down below here we're going to have um, let's see here uh, let me go you have to look at uh, can't I don't remember the name of it now oh no um, cause you have to get it just right so this would be like uh, front underscore fender uh, front I think it's like front right underscore fender equals front underscore right underscore fender two and then you have front underscore left fender equals front left underscore fender two so it's set up primarily like this now i have to go back into the file and make sure that's what it's named Right, so I'd have to go back in and make sure that's what it's named. So right fender, uh, right front fender, front right fender, or it might be right front fender. I think it's fender, or fender front. Okay, so then maybe I've got it all messed up. So it'd be fender, looking at this, fender, front, right equals fender front right two okay so then you have left so basically what it's telling the config is these are the fenders we want to have on it left two all right so we want the right two and right and left two as the body tuning so we're going to save that all right 
now that we have that all done, we're going to make sure real quick um, that it's going to work, right? So at this point, what I would do is go back into uh, Car Mechanic Simulator and then check out um, the showroom. We'll go in, we'll take, make sure that the showroom works out and um, make sure that it shows up there. And that's pretty much the gist of that. And that's all it is, just to make sure it shows up, make sure it works out pretty good. All right, we're going to go to the showroom. We're going to put some water here. Bolt Roulette, and we have the Bolt Roulette HQ Custom Pro Stock. So we'll select that and see what we get. And there we have it, boys and girls. We have the Pro Stock Beast right there. Now, the fenders must not be right because the fenders are, are not painted, are painted on here. So that's okay. Um, we are going to exit out of here. And what we're gonna do is take a quick look at um we'll go back into the editor and see what it says so do a quick let this stop running hit play hit the car editor we'll go in and see what those uh fenders are named and make sure our can our file is named properly Roll that. We'll go to tuning. So what is this? Fender front left. Fender front left. Fender front left two. Fender front left. Okay, so fender front left. Fender front left two. Okay. Fender front left. Gotcha. So let's jump over into the config two or body config. Fender front right equals fender front right two. Fender front underscore left equals fender front left two. I believe that's how it's supposed to be set up. Let's save that. Now I will, I'm going to jump over to someplace else. Uh, I don't have uh, tuning, so hood equals hood do. So yeah, that should be, that should work. So we'll go to body config. I only have one space in here. Maybe it needs two. So there we go. And we'll do that. We'll hit save and then Voila, we have that. Now we have both these configs, config twos, body config and config twos, right? So what are we gonna do with these? Okay, so what you do with them is you actually uh, probably copy them over into your um, desktop. Let's take, copy, take them and move them over to your desktop, right? So we will take them and put these files and we'll move them over here to my desktop, right? right? Right down here, that's where they're at. Now, what we would do is go to uh, streaming assets and go to upload. Go to upload and upload config. Now upload config, as you can tell, you have two files, body config and config. So we just did these, right? The config twos. So I would move those over and then remove the number from them. Then you're good. Upload config. So this is one I've done um, just a little while ago. So you have to change the description and it has to match. This car ID has to match what, um, let's see, let's get another one here. I'll show you the, these better ones that I've done. All right, so so the bolt reptilia here 
that has to be the car that you've configured. This is a description. Um, package ID on initial upload, you will not have that line, so take that line out. Um, it's a config. Uh, use private for visibility and new. So that'll be like your first time you ever upload a vehicle. That's what we're going to do. Um, so, and then you have an upload preview. So the upload preview is a picture of the vehicle that you're uploading. So this one's something I uploaded just recently and um, it'll be showing later. So you create a picture, that picture cannot be no more than a thousand megabits, I think it is. Um, yeah, so you have to watch that. And then once you have all your files all set up, then you go back into your launcher and then um, let's go ahead and dump out of that. Then you would go back into your launcher. I wait for it to stop here. Hit play, go to workshop uploader, hit play, and then you'll come up with this. So if you've set up all your files right, you just go to sample upload, you select your upload config, right? For those that like doing deliveries, this is where you would upload your delivery. And for the texture pack, those are for all the signs that are in the garage. So if it's going to be a config, and if you've set all the files up right, your description will come up here, your picture will come up here, it'll show you private. You have a chance to you know, change it over here, but keep it private. It is a config, so it goes into the config files properly. And if it's new, this will be blank. But if you update it, it will have a number, and that's the number that it's used. And you just hit upload. If everything is successful, you'll have a successful upload. So I hope that has helped you guys out 100% across the board. And if you like this video, please, by all means, hey, give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if, uh, if you get stuck. By all means, throw some questions down below. And... Uh, I'll help you out as much as possible. Okay, until the next time I see you guys, either in a Rat to Rad video or in my story order series. I hope to see you around. Until then, this is Quasar saying goodnight, and I am out.